me show you how to spice up your taco Tuesday with these black and mahi mahi tacos with the ginger cabbage slaw, sriracha lime crema, tomatillo sauce, and mango pico. Let's get into it. To begin the slaw, you are simply going to be cutting your purple cabbage in half and then cutting those halves into halves. So essentially cutting the cabbage into quarters and then each quarter you will slice into about half inch thick slices. I first remove that stem from the bottom and then we are going to be slicing. Not only is cabbage a little bit on the tougher side to cut, but we're doing it first so it can break down with the acids that we're going to be adding, which you'll see in a second. But before that, we are just, again, cutting the cabbage into smaller pieces for our slaw, and then we are going to be transferring that into a bowl. And I'm just using about half of the cabbage for the tacos that I'm preparing for this serving amount, but you can use the entire cabbage. After all of your cabbage is cut, you are going to be placing your apple cider vinegar right onto the cabbage. Also, you want to add a little bit of sweetness to add some balance, so we're doing that with honey, and then we're just combining everything. Next, we're adding some shredded carrots. I use pre-shredded carrots. I like that they hold their shape a little bit better than carrots that you can grate on your own. And after that, we are adding ginger. This is the punch to this part. It's honestly an idea that I had as I was making the recipe. I was like, let's make this a little funner. So we're adding some uh, minced ginger and then we're also adding some scallions for color, but also for that mild kind of oniony taste. At this point, we are going to let our slaw hang out so the acid can break it down even further before we build out our taco. For the sriracha lime crema, we're simply adding two thirds part mayo, one third part sriracha, lime juice, and then whisking it all up. These recipes are real easy, y'all. The tomatillo sauce is one of my favorite parts of this taco. It adds a nice bright citrusy taste to everything else. And so you're gonna begin by peeling these tomatillos and then eventually we are going to submerge them in water. So you will submerge them into hot boiling water and once they start to change in color, you will remove them. The next step is to transfer all of the ingredients into a blender which consists of two whole avocados we also want to include some cilantro, including the stems, which is where a lot of flavor is packed. Garlic cloves, salt, lime juice, and the tomatillos that we just took off of the hot boiling water. The next order of business is to simply blend everything until it is a smooth and creamy consistency and then that's it. The sauce can actually be served warm or cold. The next element to these tacos is the mango pico which is a Zaza's kitchen signature. You are simply going to begin by slicing your mangoes into four pieces per mango. You don't want to of course slice the pit. All right, after that, you are going to be dicing the mango slices using a paring knife. So I like to hold it in my hand, as you can see, and then I slice it vertically, then horizontally, and then scoop the insides out with a spoon. And I'm just going to be repeating this process until all the mangoes are diced. And then we are going to be adding the rest of the ingredients to that bowl as well. We are going to begin by adding some diced jalapeno. You can keep some seeds in for a little spice, but remember who you're serving because not everyone likes spicy food, but it is a nice little kick if that's your thing. Next, we are transferring over some diced onions, red onions to be exact. Please excuse my diced onions. They are not all perfectly diced, but they do the job. Next, we're adding some fresh lime juice and then cilantro. 
fresh ingredients do make this mango pico pop so make sure that's what you're using and then we are going to be adding some salt to of course bring out all of those flavors and then lastly we're just mixing everything together for those flavors to marry it is now time to prepare the start of the show the black and mahi mahi you're going to begin by slicing mahi fillets into taco appropriate slices and then y'all please forgive me i forgot to film me seasoning the fish but i did use garlic salt cayenne pepper chili powder smoked paprika chipotle chili pepper and then ground cumin and then i let the fish marinate for about 30 minutes before cooking to begin cooking this fish you are going to place a cast iron or stainless steel pan on a medium high heat and then you are going to be placing a neutral high heat cooking oil such as avocado oil to that pan and then you are going to be placing your fish in the pan and you want to make sure you give it enough space to breathe and to blacken all right the fish needs to cook for about four minutes and then you need to gently very very gently flip the fish over don't be afraid to use your hands if you're new to this don't be like me but if you are a little bit more comfortable you know use your hands as assistance to flip you want to make sure you are not breaking that precious mahi mahi in the pan that is not good for your tacos after the fish cooks for about four minutes on each side you are going to carefully remove it from the heat and then you can garnish it with lime wedges and then some fresh cilantro and now the moment we've all been waiting for. We are going to build this beautiful taco. We are going to begin by placing our tomatillo sauce on the base of that tortilla. And then you're gonna place two mahi-mahi pieces. You don't really need any more because these are small tortillas. You're next gonna place a nice generous amount of cabbage slaw. That's the crunch element of this taco. And then we are going to be placing some pickled red onions that adds a nice bite to the taco. Some mango pico and then some sriracha lime crema. I know I didn't show you all how to make the pickled onions, but that recipe is on my website, so make sure you check it out on zazaskitchen.com. The link is in the description. And then lastly, you're gonna garnish with some fresh cilantro, and then you can place a lime wedge on there if that's your thing, but that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I'm telling you, if you try these tacos, you will not be disappointed. They are not only healthy, but they are so delicious and they are packed with so, so much flavor. As always, the recipe is on zazaskitchen.com. The link is in the description. And if you cook this recipe, please tag me so I can see it and comment. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all next week.